Slap on a smile. Come out and walk in the sun for a while. Don't fight the feeling. You know you wanna have a good time. And in my opinion, nation, the sun is gonna surely shine. should be panicked. Oh my gosh. You don't suppose this means we're the girls with good personalities? No, we're not fat enough to have good personalities. You know what it is? It's just that mathematically the odds are against us. 90% of the guys ask out the same four girls. Lorraine never saw Margaret chafing Dean and Ash and Patty Nigren. The four sluts of the apocalypse. Excuse me. Are you talking to me? No, of course you're not talking to me. Why would you be talking to me? I must be in your way. I'm sorry. Oh, actually, I was talking to you. I'm Jordan Taylor. You certainly are. Her name is Blossom Russo. Of course it is. It says so right here in my notebook. See, Blossom Russo, that's me. And coincidentally, she's got your name written all over her notebook, too. So, Blossom, do you have a date for the dance on Friday? The dance? Yeah, Friday. Do you have a date? Not yet. Well, would you like to go? Go to the dance with you? Who else would I ask? I've always loved you, Blossom. Blossom? Well, would you like to go? I'd love to. Great. Hey, Fred, come here. Fred, I'd like you to meet your date for the dance on Friday. I really, really appreciate this, Blossom. So does Fred, right, Fred? Gesundheit. <laughs> Thanks. I must be allergic to your perfume. I'm not wearing any perfume. Then it must be your deodorant. Well, I suppose that's possible. Don't wear any on Friday night and you two should get along fine. I'll catch you later, Fred. Thanks for doing my math homework. Oh, sure. So, Blossom, do you like to dance? Yeah, but I used to go to an all-girls school, so I'm kind of used to leading. <laughs> I'm no Fred Astaire myself. Of course I do catch Soul Train every once in a while. Better get going. I'll call you about Friday, Blossom. It's really great. I would have never had the guts to ask you myself. Uh, sure. <laughs> what just happened here? It was the old bait and switch. They showed you the Ferrari, then they sold you the Pinto. <laughs> Unfortunately, Tiffany, we're gonna have to take my dad's car to the dance. Nope, nope, my vet will definitely not be ready by Friday. Uh, yeah, see, they had to order parts from Japan. <laughs> uh, I know it's an American car, but, um, I'm having a sushi bar put in the glove compartment. <laughs> great, great. All right, so I'll pick you up Friday night at 8. Ciao. Uh, Dad, you haven't forgotten about taking me for my driving test on Friday, have you? No, but I did forget that you own a Corvette. <laughs> Dad, that was just a little white lie to impress a chick. Hmm, and what happens when this chick finds out you don't really have a car? By that time, she'll be so impressed with my clothes and my hair, she won't care about all that superficial stuff like cars. Mm. By the way, I need the car Friday. Oh, you do, do you? Well, first of all, the car is mine, so I'd like to hear a little begging and groveling when you need it. And secondly, what makes you so sure you're going to pass the driving test Friday? What's bothering you, Dad? <laughs> Talk to me, man to man. I'm almost 16. I will understand. Time, Joey. What's bothering me is time. Right now, your brother is sober, you don't drive, and your sister doesn't date, which means I can sleep at night. This is a good time, which could turn into a bad time in no time. So that's all you're afraid of? Time? No, I'm worried you're going to get your license before you're ready and get into some horrible accident. An accident? That is the way that's going to happen. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Look. Look, you're going to have to let me drive sometime. So it might as well be Friday when I have a hot date, right? 
Here's the deal, Joey. I'll let you take the test, and then we'll talk. But before Friday comes, I suggest you get in a little more practice behind the wheel. Dad, how many times can we circle the supermarket parking lot? Until you stop sideswiping the photo mat booth. Hi, Dad. How you doing, Blossom? Not so hot. I need your advice on a little dating matter. One's dating, one's driving. I'm in daddy hell. See, Dad, this guy at school asked me to the homecoming dance. The homecoming dance, a date with lots of people around. That's good. Who's this guy? His name is Fred Fogarty. Whoa. Pinhead Fred. You know him? Everyone knows him. Dad, this guy is nerd royalty. He's like the love child of Olive Oil and Gilligan. So, what's the problem? I know I said I'd go with him, but now I really don't want to. I never would have thought I'd say this about a date, Blossom, but if you made a commitment, then I think you should go. It's the right thing to do. Now, I really got to get to work, but we can talk about this tomorrow, okay? Okay, Dad. But Fred really is a nerd. Great. I like nerds. They're sexually inhibited and usually make good drivers. <laughs> Dad is wrong, Blossom. He doesn't know how to handle problems like this. Back in the old days when he went to school, it didn't matter who dated who because everybody was a geek. <laughs> Well, times have changed, and a borderline babe like yourself cannot afford to be seen with a bottom feeder like Fred. What do you mean by borderline? Blossom, you're in the honor society. You play the trumpet. And you haven't been blessed by the Hooter Fairy yet. Do you have a point besides the one on your head? Yes. Yes, yes. My point is, one date with this guy and his curtains on your social life. How much damage can one date do? You won't listen. No matter how much I try to help you, you're still going to end up doing the right thing. Well, don't say I didn't warn you, Blossom. You go out with Pinhead Fred once, and you're going to be marked for life. Think about it. There's nothing to think about. I said I was going, and I'm going. I think. <laughs> Buenos dias, Blossom. Hi, Fred. I had a great time at the dance Friday night. Those Lombada lessons really paid off, huh? This seat is saved. But six, we always sit together. That was before you geeked out on me. Yeah, why don't you go sit over there with your own kind? gates of heaven? Where'd you think I went? Syndication? So, this is the actual stairway to heaven? Yep. We put this in for John Bonham. So, uh, what's your name, kid? Blossom Russo. Hmm. Russo. Russo. Ooh. Bit of an overachiever, aren't you? According to this, your efforts brought about world peace and ended world hunger. Oh, hey, hey, I see you even donated one of your kidneys to the Pope. Actually, it was both kidneys. That's why I'm dead. Hey, too bad you're not from Melmac. Everyone there has three kidneys. For lunch. Gross. I'm kidding. Hey, uh, got any cats on you? No. All right, we'll go up anyway. Thank you. Oh, hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Whoa. Says here, you dated Pinhead Fred? Just once. That's all you need. But what was my sin? You broke the 11th commandment. Thou shalt not geek. You mean just because I dated Pinhead Fred, I'm going to hell? In a handbasket. <laughs> Give me a break. It's just one date. <laughs> I can't do it, Six. Tell him, Blossom. Believe me, once it's over, you're gonna feel like a totally new person. Come 
on, go. Hi, Fred. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It happens to me all the time. Fred, I need to talk to you about the dance. Oh, I need to talk to you, too. I need to find out what color dress you're wearing so I can buy you a corsage. By the way, do you prefer wrist or pinup? Actually, I'll be wearing a tuxedo. It's seafoam green. My mother's making it. <laughs> I can't go to the dance with you, Fred. Something came up. What? I completely forgot that I have to go out of town after school on Friday, and I won't be back in time for the dance. It's okay for a little late. Where do you have to go? Bulgaria. <laughs> Bulgaria? Yeah. See, there's this international trumpet festival, and I'm representing the United States. When are you coming back? I should be back in time for school on Monday. Gee, that's pretty fast. They've chartered the Concord. <laughs> I understand. I hope you're not too disappointed. Maybe you can go with someone else. No, I don't want to go with someone else. I wanted to go with you, Blossom. Oh, Fred. Excuse me. Hey, Blossom. What's keeping you up nights? A guilty conscience. Anything you want to talk about? You'll think I'm terrible. <laughs> Blossom, eight months ago I was so high the cops found me at 3 a.m. trying to order a Big Mac and fries from an automatic teller machine. <laughs> I'm not going to throw any stones. Okay, there's this guy at school everyone thinks is a geek. You mean Fred Fogarty? <laughs> yeah. He asked me to go to the dance with him, and I said I'd go, but then I got nervous that everyone would think I was a geek, too, so I made up some lame excuse about going to Bulgaria, and I don't think he believed me. Well, it is off-season in Bulgaria. <laughs> Mind if I have a bite? Sure, help yourself. You know, don't bet against Fred, Blossom. The world is run by former geeks. You think Gorbachev got through high school without being called Jamhead? <laughs> Not likely. My theory is that rejection drives geeks to accomplish great things in life so that everyone will admire them. You know, I could probably have a good time with Fred. It's just that I don't want everyone to think I'm a geek, too. Peer pressure is a very powerful thing, Blossom. That's what got me so messed up in the first place. Really? Mm-hmm. It was peer pressure that got me to smoke my first cigarette, take my first drink, and to experiment with drugs. It's really scary. You haven't even heard the worst part. It was peer pressure that got me to wear... Bicycle pants. You wore bicycle pants? Just once. No, but I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. Thank you, Anthony. Now I'm completely confused. Are you saying that I should go out with Fred because he's a geek, or that I shouldn't go out with Fred because he's a geek? What I'm saying is this. Woody Allen's date for the prom had your same problem. Dad, you haven't forgotten about taking me for my driving test, have you? No, but you might want to have a backup just in case. Oh, no, there's no backup. If I don't have my own car, Tiffany won't go. She's turned on by men who drive. Boy, this oil shortage must be hitting her hard. Dad, anybody with a car is hitting her hard. So, uh, I'm going to need you to fill up the car and wash it before Friday. Oh, and uh, while you're at it, get one of those air fresheners. Something in a musk. I'll tell you what. Why don't you and I go for a ride right now and we'll take care of some of this stuff together. And while we're at it, you can practice parallel parking. Dad, look, this is L.A. The only kind of parking you need to know is valet. <laughs> God, look, I'm ready to go out on my own. I'm ready to feel the wind in my hair. Joey. Joey, driving a car, it's like playing an instrument. You have to practice to be good at it. What's your favorite song? Stereo by Def Leppard. <laughs> okay. You probably think you know that song backwards and forwards, right? Dad, I only listened to it backwards once, and the only word that made sense was snarf. So you know this song, right? Yeah, I I've heard it a million times. Okay. Sit down and play me a few bars. What? Uh, you know it so well? Go ahead and play it. <laughs> See what I mean? Wow. I could play the piano. I'm a natural. <laughs> What time do you want me to pick you up Friday? 3.30. I'll be there. Hey, Six, what's up? I have such fantastic news that I had to come and tell you in person. What? Dean and Ash got in a car wreck and broke her leg so she can't go to the dance with Johnny Goodwin, so he asked me. Ah! That's 
great. Yeah, I mean, he asked five other girls first, but hey, my name is Six. Can I borrow those heels you were going to wear? Actually, as it turns out, I may be going to the dance after all. You got another date? Not exactly. You've got to be kidding. You just got off the hook and now you're going to go back? I have to, Six. I feel so guilty. Why should you feel guilty? I mean, he tricked you into going with him. I know, but you should have seen the look on Fred's face when I dumped him. Remember how Bambi looked when his mother died? It's exactly how Fred looked. Only with braces instead of antlers. <laughs> yeah, he really fell hard for you. You think I'm crazy, don't you? No, Blossom, I think you're sweet. But when you're a teenager, sweetness isn't exactly a survival skill. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a little human kindness. What do you think this is, Little House on the Prairie? I mean, this is high school. This is hell. I'm going to do it, Six. I have no other choice. Blossom, you're a decent person with real moral values. Life is going to eat you alive. Hi, Fred. Oh, hi. Can I talk to you for a minute? What about? You'll never believe it, but there was a sudden change in plans, and I can go to the dance with you after all. Boy, that really makes my day. <sighs> I'm glad you're glad. There's just one little problem. What's that? I've already got another date. You do? That's okay. I'll just call her before the dance tonight and cancel. That wouldn't be very nice. Yeah, you're right. Boy, maybe I can concoct some fantastic story so she won't suspect anything. Maybe you can help me think of something to get me off the hook. You're good at that. You knew, huh? I have a Bulgarian pen pal. I'm sorry, Fred. Did you really expect me to jump at the chance to go to the dance with you after the way you treated me? Actually, yes. Are you suffering from some kind of delusion that you're super cool or something? Well, I'm not totally uncool. What you did was very uncool. I know. It's not fun, is it? Being rejected. I'm used to it. It's not so bad coming from all the others, but for some reason I thought you were different. I am different. Yeah. You're sensitive, you're smart, and you're basically a nice person. That's why it especially hurt when you dumped me. Welcome to the club. I go through one lousy red light while I'm putting in a CD and the guy flunks me. I mean, what, what am I supposed to do? Drive for 20 minutes with no tunes? I'm sorry I can't be more sympathetic, but I'm missing my first dance. Come on, Joey, get dressed. I'll drive you to the dance. I don't have a date anymore. Couldn't change Tiffany's mind, huh? Nah, when she found out I didn't get my license, she dumped me. Now she's going to the dance with Bobby Shapiro because he's got a new Trans Am. He's so stupid, he doesn't even realize that she's just using him. Joey, she was just using you. Yeah, but at least I knew it. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. How do you think I feel? I'm his father. <laughs> Boy, you really are taking this hard. Dad... I hurt someone just because I was afraid of what other people would think. And I can't forgive myself. All right. All right, so you feel bad. That's a good sign that you feel bad. That means you're a good person. The better a person you are, the worse you feel. Really good people are completely miserable all the time. <laughs> That's it in a nutshell. I'm glad I could help. I'll go make cookies. But every time I see Fred, I'm going to be reminded of what a jerk I was. Also good. Look, I can guarantee you'll do worse things than this. I think I may have scarred Fred for life. Ah, Fred will survive. Let me tell you something. When I was in high school, girls turned me down all the time because they thought I was a geek, but I got over it. You were a geek? Yeah. I was a skinny little nerd who wore glasses and played the piano at school assemblies. I never had a date for the dance. Then maybe Anthony's theory is right. What's that? That the guys who get rejected in high school turn out to be cool guys that everybody admires. Ah. You're not such a bad person. So, how about it? How about what? Want to dance with someone who knows all about Fred but still loves you? I'd love to. He ought to find it any second now. Mm -hmm. Whoa, this is so cool! Oh, oh, hey, 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 is this from all you? The pins are from me. The gum in the pocket's from me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, since it's Joey's birthday... I think you should have this dance. Yeah, sure. Okay. 